remind you those points once again in the slide and uh, we will uh, move on and this morning and i believe that uh, the lord is uh, uh, going to i mean uh, talk to us and uh, uh, so uh, uh, main points on the malayalam thirode and parayan agrahikunu prayamulla preyapettavarku nammude kude ulladu konde athre cheyan okkathullu adinulla samayame ullu okay kartha namme sahayikatte so listen to that uh, i mean main topic that was the christian worship nammude aathmika aaradhana endayirikanam and then that was from Rome. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and again you know we studied many things and what is worship and what is uh, not the worship and who to worship and whom to worship the origin and progress of oh, okay that that we didn't study but at the same time the next one the next one I mean so uh, and uh, the next one and why to know the importance of worship okay so most of the time we do not have that i mean we are not thinking about the the worship and what is worship and why we should know about the the importance of worship that means no the ignorance about the worship is there and uh, we uh, gather many a times but we don't worship god we have all other activities but we don't we don't worship god man so that's the reason that it is very important and what is worship and worship is a matter of human expression towards god and that is coming from the inner experience and also emotions could be expressed in different uh, ways and we have been studying about uh, I mean, how we are expressing our emotions and how we are expressing our thanks to god and gratefulness to god you know we have different styles to express our thanks to god we have many different styles to i mean uh, you know uh, different different people are expressing their thanks to the lord in different ways then so we already i mean thought about all of all those points and also the style of worship is not important in the presence of god but the heart of a person is important in the presence of god and from i mean psalm number 68 verse 25 we, we read that in the old testament at the old testament people especially the people of israel they had a special a system and method of worship but in new testament we don't have that style of worship it is not written in the bible at the same time in first corinthians chapter 14 verse 40 it is written that let everything thing be done decently and in order yeah whom to worship and who to worship what is that aaraan aaradhikkanadhu aaraan aaradhikkanadhu ha endavada idirikkane worship the creator and the redeemer and we the creatures and redeemed people are to worship the creator men and next yes yeah um okay the, what is the 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 um the point and next one maybe you can take tall 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 yeah so again so we are continuing that same portion and uh, in a in a, in a different uh, way that we are going to uh, i mean think about this morning also that you know today's uh, uh, i mean uh, message that we are fo- going to focus on the act of worship next alvin the act of worship throughout the human history okay the act of worship throughout the human history that means how the concept of worship i mean was progressing in various times and dispensations and its spiritual relevance today i mean so when we study about the worship we have many other ideas about worship and what is the i mean concept and and, and what is the thought about the worship and many many other things are there at the same time we should know that when the act of worship throughout the human history how it is progressing and how it is coming up and also how the concept of worship was progressing in various dispensation and in times and what is the spiritual relevance today men so without understanding what is the spiritual relevance of the worship today from the old testament that we are not able to worship god this morning men so we are worshiping god at the same time many times we are not knowing about or we are not thinking about what is the relevance of the old testament worship in the new testament in the new testament amen so the act of worship throughout the human history and the spiritual relay i mean relevance i mean today and we know that it is written there that the the concept of worship begins all the way back to the creation of man we know that uh, you know there are many people thinking that the concept of worship is beginning with the incident of uh, cain and abel okay so there are many people believing and thinking that the the concept of worship is starting from the 
the incident of Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel, they went for the worship or offering or sacrifice or something. So they believe that the worship is starting from there. The concept of worship is uh, starting from there. And some other people are thinking and they are believing that the concept of worship, I mean, uh, begins with the incident of Abraham when he was going to sacrifice his son Isaac. Okay? And some of the people are believing that the concept of worship is beginning from the time of Israel's exodus from Egypt. Okay, So there are many people believing that this is worship and this is this should be the worship and they have their own views about that and uh, even uh, last uh, a week I, I've been uh, telling you that you know uh, uh, many of the people are thinking that okay, the, the, the concept of worship in according to their own organization or uh, according to their own uh, denomination you know every denomination has uh, their own style of worship and everything okay so uh, and, uh, we, we also have a style of worship and you know we cannot say that okay, okay that style of worship is good and this style of worship is good and if a style of worship is applicable for everyone that we can accept that and let us also join with that style of worship and we are worshiping God I mean, so uh, everyone can worship God it, it I was talking about the praise and worship okay I was talking about the 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 the, the what is that uh, the the worship time you know uh, some of the people are thinking that okay, the first 15 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour is the is the is the worship of a person no it is not like that okay the worship is not limited with 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes but the worship is a lifelong worship you know every moment of our, of our life we are worshiping God I mean, so that's that's the reason you know when we study about the concept of worship we understand some people are thinking that it is beginning from the Cain and Abel's worship or sacrifice some people are believing that it is beginning with the Abraham and Isaac when they were going for the for the sacrifice of um, his son Isaac and some of the people are believing that when the people of God the people of Israel they were I mean uh, I mean making their exodus from Egypt now, that is the day and after I mean crossing the Red Sea they were, they were praising God and they were thanking God they were singing songs and all so that is the worship and that is the beginning of the worship in the Bible but actually we have to understand one thing that the worship the concept of worship begins all the way back to the creation of human the creation of human so it is not easy for you to I mean uh, understand that uh, the statement is like this okay so when we study about and we think that again okay, this is the this is the beginning of the worship in the Bible but we have to think about where the worship is starting okay according to the Bible and from the book of Genesis we understand it is I mean going and the concept of worship begins all the way back to the creation of human being the creation of human being hallelujah and you know um, uh, let us think about that sometimes that uh, uh, you have to understand that now, did God command to Adam and Eve to worship him after creating the human did God command to Adam and Eve to worship him hello no no Adam and Eve have you ever seen such a situation like that they even parano and they will tell you that I don't know okay so directly we cannot say that God didn't say that okay uh, I, 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 I created you and you have to worship me you have to worship me and he didn't say that okay uh, I, I created you so when I am coming down from heaven every evening to the garden oh you have to kneel down or you have to bow down and or you have to say hallelujah praise the Lord and thank me thank me thank me he didn't say that right God did not command to Adam and Eve that you have to worship me you have to worship me you have to worship me whenever you see me when I come down from heaven you have to glorify name praise the Lord hallelujah thank you Lord Sotram then how can we say that Adam and Eve were worshiping God how can we say that the Adam and Eve were always submitting themselves in the hands of God and they were always worshipping God. Hallelujah. You know, when you think about these all things, especially in uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, 
okay in genesis chapter 20 uh, uh, chapter 1 verse 28 but what we read there god blessed them okay god blessed them god did not command them that you have to worship me but god blessed them it is written there that god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over every living thing that moves on the earth okay so the first thing after creating human god said so i'm going to bless you god bless them Man, so you and me have to think about today that you know you are here and I'm here that I'm praising God I'm giving thanks to the Lord I am blessing the name of the Lord first of all I thank God for he created me hallelujah the even number of cities are going to number in the arm area the car time is to reach you again നമുക്കാരും അവൻ നിർബന്ധിക്കേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ലല്ലേ നമ്മളെ കർത്താവ് സൃഷ്ടിച്ചു എന്ന് ഓർക്കുമ്പോൾ ഈ ഭൂമി ജീവിക്കാൻ അവസരം തന്നു എന്ന് ഓർക്കുമ്പോൾ നാം ആരും നിർബന്ധിച്ചെങ്കിലും എന്ത് ചെയ്യും കർത്താവിനെ സ്തുതിക്കും ഹലലൂയ സോ ദ റീസൺ ദറ്റ് വി ആർ പ്രോഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് യു നോ വെൻ വി തിങ്ക് അബൌട്ട് ദ ആഡം ആൻഡ് ഈ വി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഗോഡ് ഇൻ നോട്ട് ടെൽ ദം ദാറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ടു വർഷിപ്പ് മീ ബട്ട് ദേ വെ വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് ബിക്കോസ് ഗോഡ് ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ദം ആൻഡ് ബ്ലസ് ദം ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് അഗൈൻ ഇൻ ചാപ്റ്റർ 2 verse 15 okay we understand and we read there that god blessed them in the garden uh, the god placed them in the garden and told them to cultivate and keep it okay it's the second point you know god told them and god kept them and placed them in the garden of eden and said I mean you have to cultivate the the garden and you have to keep it again the third one okay that is the command actually god has given okay that is the 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 first command that god is giving to the to to the human okay what was that hmm? in uh, 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 in chapter 2 verses 16 and 17 there you can see that the lord god commanded the man saying from any tree of the garden you may eat freely but from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat from it you will surely that this is the first command that god has given to the human what is the command you can eat anything you can eat any of the fruits of these trees but only the tree of knowledge and good is forbidden for you this is the command for those people but at the same time can you say that you know is there any replay from uh, 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 from 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 uh, uh, adam and eve okay in those days uh, adam only was there but from adam and eve until chapter 2 what is the first reply that adam was uh, giving to giving to god hmm? what was that <clears throat> you can see all in the, in this all i mean three i mean incidents or in this speech i mean only god is talking there is no reply from adam okay there is no reply from adam only god is speaking okay what is that god said that, that okay, i am blessing you and god said that i am placing you here in the garden to keep it and to to cultivate it and uh, thirdly i mean he commanded them that uh, you should not eat the forbidden fruit but they are not giving any answer any reply for the talk of god but we understand the first time that adam was speaking the word comes from out of the mouth of adam that is in genesis chapter 2 verse 23 can you read that verse genesis chapter 2 verse 23 ah. when is the first reply from adam's mouth huh eh? when he saw his wife no till then he was not talking anything god was speaking to him one way conversation okay so one way communication god was speaking to him and this is what this is what this is what but adam is not saying anything back but when he saw that his wife is standing in front of him he said what is that he said uh, uh, you know it, it is written that the man said okay this is now 
bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man no word is there till then but now he is saying that okay this is my woman this is my woman so this is the first replay from adam that we can see at the same time in these three occasions in these three i mean incidents of speeches of god you know there is no command of worshiping god did god say no did god not say you have to worship me god worship me okay but we have to understand god did not tell them that every i mean every day you have to worship me but in other way we can understand that these people were worshiping god adam and eve they were worshiping god in different manner so we are going to study from that the next thing okay did did they worship god even though it was not commanded to them okay did they i mean worship god even though it was not commanded to them they were ordered നിങ്ങൾ എന്നെ ആരാധിക്കണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞില്ലെങ്കിലും അവർ ദൈവത്തെ ആരാധിച്ചോ ഹൗബീഡിയൻസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇഫ് യു തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റിങ് ദബീഡിയൻസ് ടു ഗോഡ് ഈസ് വർഷിപ്പ് ദെൻ ലെറ്റ് ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ആഡം ഈ വാസ് ദേ വെർ വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് മെൻ ദേ വെർ വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് men adam and eve worship god by being obedient to god in the beginning okay that is the point you know we, we say that okay devathe anusarikka ennalad endana devathe anusarikka ennalad aaradhanayana yagamana yagathe kaalum better aanu nokke vadanathil parayunnundu le first samuel amen uh, uh, chapter 15 verse 22 lokke parayunnundu so i mean if the, the the obedience is better than sacrifice then i believe that adam and eve in the beginning they were worshiping god in obeying god's commandment I mean they were worshiping god by being obedient to the command of god not to eat the forbidden fruit they didn't eat the forbidden fruit in the beginning right they didn't eat okay after the fall only they ate okay and cultivating and keeping the garden and after all these things you know we have to understand adam and if also were obeying the word of god the command of god even though they were not commanded to worship god this is very important to understand that we are counting the worship is obedience to god okay when we are obedient to the word of god when we are obedient to the commandment of god we understand that is the worship i mean that's what we understand from that uh, i mean a particular point that adam and eve they were keeping the garden and they were i mean obeying the word of god and they were cultivating the garden and also i mean they were I mean, ready to i mean be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and rule over every living things of this earth men so they were able to obey god and they were willing to obey god and that was the worship towards god that's the reason that we are reading that in first samuel chapter 15 verse 22 what is that men to obey is better than sacrifice okay to obey is better than sacrifice and to listen than the fat of the rams okay so what do you mean by that hmm? to obey anusarikkunnathu yagathe kaalum shraddhikkunnathu മുട്ടാളുകളുടെ മേധസ്സിനേക്കാളും നല്ലത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എന്താ അർത്ഥം ദർ ആർ പീപ്പിൾ ദോസ് ആർ റെഡി ടു വാഷിപ്പ് ഗോഡ് ഓൾവേസ് ദേ ആർ റെഡി ടു വാഷിപ്പ് ഗോഡ് ബട്ട് ദേ ഡോൺ വോണ്ട് ടു ലിസൺ ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ദർ ആർ പീപ്പിൾ ഓക്കെ സോ ദേ ആർ റെഡി ടു വാഷിപ്പ് ഗോഡ് ബട്ട് ദേ ഡോൺ ലിസൺ ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ദേ ആർ നോട്ട് റെഡി ടു ഒബേ ദ വേർഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ബട്ട് ദേ ആർ റെഡി ഫോർ വാഷിപ്പ് റെഡി ഫോർ വാഷിപ്പ് okay so the people those who are ready for worship first of all think about are you obedient to the word of god are you obedient to to the to the leaders and are you obedient to your parents and are you obedient to the word of god which is commanded in the word of god men so that is what we understand from first samuel chapter 15 verse 22 okay what is better what is better okay obey to obey is better than sacrifice okay you know the people are bringing their sacrifices or bringing their offerings i mean in the presence of god without obeying the word of god okay will god please that please that sacrifice no god will say no no i don't want your 
I don't want your worship. I don't want your sacrifice. I don't want your I mean, offering because you are not clear in the presence of God and you are not obeying the word of God. Hallelujah. So when a person is obeying the word of God, that person will be able to come to the presence of God and say thank you. Thank you Lord. Man, before thanking God, before praising the name of the Lord, think about how much you are I mean, obeying the word of God. How much you are obeying the word of God. Again, you know, uh, it is listen. Okay, uh, Listening is, is important. Okay, Listening and obeying is important. Okay, Sradhikkinnadum, Ansirikkinnadum, Nalladum. Okay, Nammal chala samayatha karthana vadana vakka kekkana irikkinna engil nammal anta jayinne. Eh? Nammal sradhik vera evde kyoo aana. Le? Eh? Karthavani ansirikkinna ansirikkinna vakka etroosu paranyalim nammal manasakke evde oo Okay, so we are thinking about many, many other things. You know, you know we are sitting here, our, our body is here, and physically we are here in the presence of God, but we are thinking about many other things. Okay, I mean, door, 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 we are thinking about many other things. We don't have the concentration, concentration many times. Okay, but at the same time, the Bible very clearly says that in First Samuel that I mean to obey is better than sacrifice, and also I mean which is which is good to listen than the fat of rams. I mean listening the word of God and I mean submitting according to the word of God and obeying the word of God is better than I mean sacrifice. In uh, I mean uh, uh, James chapter 1 uh, verse 22 we read that okay shall, shall we read that verse maybe James chapter 1 verse 22 James uh, book of James chapter 1 verse 22 Yaakov and Elegana Munnavath Hiruvatrandamayi Okay, what is that word? Do not deceive yourselves. What do you mean by that? Hmm? Deceiving ourselves. Okay, if we are listening the word, and if we are not obeying the word, we are deceiving ourselves. Le, namal namal thene endi yana, vanchiki yana, chadiki yana. Okay, so we are supposed to obey the word, and we are supposed to be the doers of the word of God every every day or every I mean Wednesday or Friday or Sunday, uh, the other other weekend or the other weekdays. You know, we are listening the word of God many a times. Okay, but at the same time, if we are not doing the word of God, then that is not a worship. That is not a worship, and we are deceiving ourselves. And also in Romans chapter five verse nineteen, we read that Jesus was obedient to his father. Can you read that verse also? Romans chapter 5 verse 19. Okay, you know, with the uh, with one man, Adam, okay, through Adam, many were becoming unrighteous people and wicked people and sinners okay at the same time by the obedience of one person that is Jesus Christ okay by the obedience of Jesus Christ I mean everyone can become righteous in the sight of God okay through the blood of Jesus Christ and through the death of Jesus Christ through the crucifixion of Jesus Christ and Jesus said that again you can all come to the Father God because I died for you I mean I am crucified for you because when you can come to the presence of God and you can call you can be called as a saints of God and holy people the children of God I mean we are worshiping God and we are saying we are the children of God only I mean because I mean God I mean sent his only son into this world to die for you and me <coughs> hallelujah so that is part we understand that Jesus was obedient to father God that's the reason that we are sitting today in the presence of God and again in uh, when you read a uh, uh, book of Ephesians ep the, the epistles of Ephesians uh, uh, especially chapter 5 and 6 you will see that they 
there are many things which is written about uh, i mean uh, uh, how to obey god and how to obey parents and also there are many other things especially I mean how to obey uh, your parents is uh, the main thing which is in chapter chapter 6 okay so when you go to chapter 6 of uh, uh, book of uh, ephesians you will read uh, in uh, verse 1 that children obey your parents in the lord for this is right okay so not only obeying god not only obeying god but we are supposed to obey our parents right is it written in the bible yes. okay okay so children you know everywhere in in in, in chapter 5 also in chapter 6 also you can see that you know there are some people that we have to be obedient not only to God, not only to the commandment of God, but you are supposed to obey the godly people. You are supposed to obey your godly parents. You know, chapter 6 verse, I mean, one says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. That means, if you, your children, or your parents are in the Lord, that means, if they are believers, they will be saying to you the good things. Okay, so when they are saying that all those the word of God or something like uh, uh, the, 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 the good things with, uh, from, the, from, the, from the moral life or the word of God when I mean, you are supposed to obey that you know but the, the thing is many times we are not ready to obey that word because we say okay no I don't want to obey uh, my parents and because my parents are not good you know if they are saying anything uh, bad to you and don't obey that okay but if they are the people of god if they are the believer um, i mean when they whenever they are saying to you the, the word of god you are supposed to obey that okay there are many people you know uh, most of the time i used to uh, remember one thing about uh, abraham and uh, uh, when abraham was going for the for the uh, what is that uh, uh, sacrifice okay sac sacrificing his son isaac okay so uh, i used to think about uh, that sacrifice okay and then abraham isahakine yaan kalikkan vendi pogumbola avade ame sambhavikkunna karyam undu aa mone athyavashyam prayamulla oru mone ayirunnu pakshe avanu venengil endiyarunnu njan ingu appanu kuda varunnilla appanu idakke parnjondirikkathode njan varunnilla ennu venengil avane parayarunnu pakshe avan parnjo illa okay so isaac was an obedient person to his parent okay you read that maybe uh, that, that is actually the obedience okay so uh, uh, in uh, in uh, maybe uh, uh, genesis chapter 22 genesis chapter 22 is uh, the best example for what is obedience and what is worship okay so in genesis chapter 22 uh, uh, verse um, yeah verse 5 you read that verse 5 <coughs> okay so ah okay so what is that we will go to the mountain and we will come back we will worship god and we will come back okay how can that person say that okay we are going for a worship we are going for a worship and he know abraham knows that okay uh, i will have to cut my own son Okay. I will have to sacrifice my son because it is written in verse 1 that now it came about after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. And he said, take now your son, your only son whom you love Isaac and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a bond offering on one of the mountains of which I will tell you. They were going to the Moria, the Mount of Moria. You have to know one thing that God said, no, you are not supposed to take Ismail. He can take, Abraham can take Ismail also. But God said, no, you have to take your own son, that is Isaac. The name also is given there. You have to take your son Isaac and go to the to the mountain of Moria and you have to I mean, do the burnt offering. Burnt offering means what? Burnt offering means the hitchigalayana. Okay? Okay? Burning. Okay? Burning. Okay. So he know that I will have to uh, burn uh, this my, my my only begotten son. Okay? And he was knowing that still he was ready to obey the commandment of God. 
That is worship. That is worship. That's the reason that he said that to, to his servants that we will go to the mountain and we will come back after doing the worship. When on the way, on the way in uh, uh, verse uh, 7, verse 6, okay, and uh, uh, his son is asking a question. Uh, uh, that is verse 7. Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold, the fire is there, and the wood is there, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? I mean, this is the question that Isaac is asking. My father, I know that you have the fire, you have the wood, but where is the, where is the person or where is the animal for the offering? What was the answer? What was the answer? Amen. In, 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 in verse uh, uh, 8, it says that God will provide for himself the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. This is faith and this is obedience. Okay. When we are not having any hope that we are when we, when we are thinking that I have to, I mean, uh, sacrifice or offer my son Isaac, Abraham was thinking, no, I will get some other alternative when I reach there. Amen. I will get some other alternative when I reach there. I will get some other alternative when I reach there. This is actually faith and this is actually obedient. So we have to understand when Abraham was offering or sacrificing his uh, I mean, son, I mean, he was obeying God and he was worshipping God. That is the true worship. That means with the obedience he was worshipping God. And secondly, yeah, uh, secondly, you know, they are intimate who's Adam and Eve. Okay? There are, there are three points today. And uh, the, the second one is their intimate communion and constant relationship with God proves that they were they were worshiping God. That means if we are taking the intimate communion and constant relationship with God and uh, uh, God is worship, then let us believe that they worship their creator God. That means God comes down every day from heaven to the garden of Eden. And what is happening there? These people, Adam and Eve, they were always walking with the God. Having that intimate fellowship with God. And having that, keeping that fellowship with God. Hallelujah. So if we are taking that close relationship with God, intimacy with God, and we are, think, we are thinking that that is worship. Man, having that close relation with God is a worship. Then we can believe that Adam and Eve, they were worshipping God in all the ways. Hallelujah. And you know, many a times we have to understand there was no distance between God and the human on those days. There was no shame. They didn't have the dress, but they were not shameful. There was no rebellion because I mean, they had a close relationship with, with God. Hallelujah. And uh, you know, uh, many times what is happening with our church people that uh, not this church, I mean, the common, the common, the, the, the other, the, the believers, totally the believers or the Christians, what is happening, you know, uh, the, the people are becoming just like uh, the, the Sunday worshippers. Okay? Sunday worshippers and Wednesday worshippers and Friday worshippers. Okay? No? Sunday worshippers means when they are coming to the church, the whole days and the whole life should be submitted in the hands of God and we have to worship God every moment of our lives. Hallelujah. That is the real I mean, worship according to the Bible. And thirdly, the thirdly, uh, uh, th the third thing is, men, their perfect love, yes, I'll be, the perfect love and unity with God and, and their partner is worship. Then let us believe that Adam and Eve, they were worshipping God. Men, what is that? The perfect love and unity with God and their partner. Okay, so think about you know uh, how the Adam and Eve were living in the beginning, before their sin, before.
ബിഫോർ ദ സിൻ അവരുടെ അവൻ പാപം ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് മുൻപ് അവർ തമ്മിൽ ഭയങ്കര സ്നേഹമായിരുന്നു അല്ലേ ആയിരുന്നു ഭയങ്കര സ്നേഹമായിരുന്നു all the people of the church okay take everyone and make the intimate friend of you from every person okay it's not okay okay that person is my friend this person is my friend no all are your friend okay in the church in the new testament church everyone are your friends okay you have i mean that intimacy with god and also you have the intimacy with the people of god in the church men so we have to think about you know many a times what is happening the people are i'm mean, a different at home and they are coming to the church and they are worshiping god okay they don't have a unity i mean with their partner or their children okay and uh, they don't uh, have that uh, relationship with all those i mean uh, the, the family members all the the fellow believers but at the same time they are worshiping god thank you lord praise the lord hallelujah stotra okka paranjondirikkya pache veetin agath endha nadakkune eh ഒരു ക്ലോസ് റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ഇല്ല ദൈവത്തോടും ഇല്ല വീട്ടിലുള്ള ആളുകളും ഇല്ല മേൻ ഇവൻ ദർ ആർ മെനി പീപ്പിൾ ഇവൻ ഐ മീൻ സ്തോത്ര പ്രൈസ് ലോഡ് സൺഡേ ഓൾസോ ദർ മേക്കിംഗ് ഫൈറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ ചർച്ച് പോസിബിൾ ഈസ് ദ പോസിബിൾ ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് വോഷിപ്പ് ഈസ് അക്സെപ്റ്റബിൾ ഇൻ ദ ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് നോ നോ ഗോഡ് സെയ്സ് ദാറ്റ് മെൻ വെൻ യു ആർ കമ്മിംഗ് ടു ദ ചർച്ച് വെൻ യു ആർ വോഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് you have to have that close relation with god and also to your fellow believer who or it may be when talk to that person and and have that close relation with that person had a believe they were worshiping god through this perfect love and unity with god and their partner hallelujah and and and, and think about ourselves okay we should have we should keep that close relation with god and unity with god and also towards the fellow believer when if you are doing that bible says that you are worshiping god you are worshiping god without doing all those things if you are saying praise the lord hallelujah there is no use at all men so that worship is not acceptable by god but i can understand one thing from the life of adam and eve that i believe that they were worshiping god even though god did not command them okay that god did not command them that you have to worship me but they were worshiping god through what through obedience and also through second thing ah huh? obedience is the first thing second one their intimate fellowship and relationship with god and the fellow believers and also the perfect love and unity with god and their partners so this is possible with you and me today also men we are saying that we are worshiping god shall we cross our eyes in the presence of god and we're going to sing one one more uh, maybe malayalam song but before that men there is summit us with the mighty hand of god and let's pray together oh father hallelujah we are committing us with the mighty hand of god this morning oh lord once again we are oh god we are coming to your presence oh god hallelujah thank you master thank you master thank you master hallelujah just think about I men how much we are worshiping god just like adam and eve I mean, just like abraham I mean he was ready to offer he was ready to sacrifice his son on the altar only because to obey the god almighty hallelujah this morning how many of you are i mean submitting yourself in the hands of god and saying oh lord i'm coming to your presence of oh god you know remember abraham went to the the mountain of moria without expecting anything that means he doesn't have anything to hope for but he was believing that if i obey the god if i obey god i mean my god he is able to care for me hallelujah this morning the spirit of the lord the bible very clearly says to the people those who are in trouble those who are in trouble those who are going through the difficult situation if you and me are ready to obey the word of god then god's care that you will see hallelujah abraham said no worries no worries when god will provide for me god will god is jehovah jireh 
ഹലലൂയ നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി കരുതുന്ന ഒരു കർത്താവുണ്ട് സ്തോത്രം നമ്മളെ കർത്താവിനെ അനുസരിക്കാൻ തയ്യാറാണെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടി കരുതുന്ന ഒരു കർത്താവുണ്ട് കർത്താവിന്റെ സന്നിധിയിലേക്ക് നമ്മളെ സമർപ്പിക്കാം ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഹലലൂയ ലെറ്റ് അസ് ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ദ ഇന്റിമേറ്റ് ഫെലോഷിപ്പ് വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് കമ്മ്യൂണിയൻ വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് ഹലലൂയ ആൻഡ് യു വിൽ വർഷിപ്പ് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് ദാറ്റ് വെൻ പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ലൗ ടുവേർഡ്സ് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ യൂണിറ്റി വിത്ത് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് യുവർ ഫെലോ ബിലീവേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് യു ആർ വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് വർഷിപ്പ് ഈസ് അക്സെപ്റ്റബിൾ in the sight of god let us i mean let us summon I mean, surrender for that and uh, let us uh, prayerfully sit in the presence of god and i would request uh, uh, brother bobby john to uh, lead us in prayer now according to the word of god